Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now to get started, we'll be using these gold plates and they come 12 in a pack. Now we'll take the plate and we'll be cutting around these edges. Now we will take these two pieces and we'll glue them together like this. Now we'll take the patterns and the patterns would be linked in the description down below. Now if you guys want the patterns free and absolutely free, they will be free for the first 48 hours. And if you guys are subscribed with your notifications turned on, then you could always get the patterns free in the first 48 hours. Now we would cut out the first pattern on page 1. You could cut a wide space in the middle here so that you could see what you're doing even better. Now we will save these for later. Now we'll take our pattern piece, we'll place it on our project and we'll cut around it so that we'll have the same shape every single time. Now we'll continue this process for all the pieces that we need. Now we'll put these two pattern pieces together. The first thing we'll do, we'll cut along this line so that we could see the other side. Now we could line up page 3 with page 2 and we'll make sure that these lines line up together with this one. Now once we have it looking like this, we could raise it up and we could glue on the inside. Now we have our entire pattern piece and we could use this to make up all the pieces that we need. Now we'll take this gold mesh shape wrap and we'll cut a square 5 rows by 5 rows. Now we'll take this gold flower mesh shape wrap and we'll cut out one of the flower mesh shape wrap and we'll stick it in the middle of our square. Now it's not exactly a square, it's more like a rectangle, but it works out just fine. Now this is the middle of our plate and we're going to take these two circles and see just how much of the circles we could cut out from the middle of our plate. Now you could place the small circles on these edge and cut them out. Now you could cut out your big circle and your small circle with those templates that I gave you guys. But if you want it to be much faster and you have a circle punch you could cut out your circles that way. So now we'll place our pattern piece down and we'll be using craft sticks to keep them together. We want a little bit overlap in here and a little bit overlap in here so that we could glue on these two pieces. We'll put a little bit of glue in the center and we'll stick the two inch circle first and we'll place the one inch circles at the end. Now we'll repeat this process for these other two. Now once we have our craft sticks in place, we could go ahead and glue on the top of our piece onto our craft sticks. Now we could glue on this part to the bottom here. Now we'll stick on the top pieces. Now once we have our pieces glued together, we could raise it up and glue this point together. Now to decorate our piece, we'll be using our decorated squares on these big circles. Now we'll also be gluing one of our decorated squares right here in the middle. Now we'll glue the single flowers on each of the smaller circles. Now you could use the gold, the silver, the red or the blue plates. You could create this design in any color that you choose. Now for this project, I'll be using this small mirror that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And I'll be taking off these three tabs that's on the back of the mirror. Now once we have finished putting together all of our pieces, we'll arrange them into a very nice circle. Now it should look something like this. Now we want to start to glue the edges in place, making sure that we don't disturb the rest of them. Now once we're finished gluing all around our mirror, we will take our decorative squares and we'll be gluing right around here 
on the two points all around our mirror. Now I've cut this cardboard a little smaller than the mirror and we'll be gluing this in the back of the mirror. Now since I made mines with 9, it's not as wide so it's narrow inside here. So I'll be taking out these flowers so that I'll be able to glue the mirror in place. Now if you use 10 of these pieces you would be able to have all of this showing. Now I'll take the razor blade and take out these flowers. Now we'll glue the mirror in place and we'll be placing glue right on the raised edges. Now as you could see some parts are showing so we could cut some flowers in half and stick them right in these areas. Now once we're finished I'll be using command strips to hang it on the wall. Now around these edges we'll be using double sided tape just to make sure that it stays on the wall. Now once you hang it on the wall, this is how it looks. Now I'd love to hear from you guys if this is something that you like and if it's something that you like to try out. Now if you like this project, you may also like these as well. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.